I wish health on everybody for everyone watching this. I pray you receive a miracle this week. If you've been praying and asking God for something, I pray that it comes true for you. I pray that you stay healthy, you stay wealthy, you stay blessed, and you stay happy. Most importantly, I pray that you're happy. I got me a new girl. Tell herself, come on. So long if I ever got the chance to. I'm charming me her mama. Baby, be my love and love. Si te olvidaste de mí, yo sé que fue una noche nada más que no se vuelve a repartir. Tal vez en ti quise encontrar lo que en otra perdí. Tu orgullo no me quiere hablar, entonces vamos a compartir. Que fue una noche nada más Que no se vuelve a repartir Tal vez en ti quise encontrar Ok, um, so today we're gonna go run some errands And you know, for us, errands usually means uh, Probably a store run, Starbucks run The best thing about going on a little errands run Is what you wear Now, I don't know about y'all Being cute and comfortable is essential Cute and comfortable is essential and I've got the perfect outfit for you guys. So right here I've got this two-piece tracksuit set. It's in all black and it's in a size medium. What I love about this, the jacket is a medium but the leggings are also medium. Now sometimes when you order sets, the top may be a little bit bigger or smaller than anticipated and the bottoms may be a little bit bigger or smaller than anticipated and they really, the ratio just doesn't matter. But I'm 5'3 and I just want to let y'all know this tracksuit is everything. Everything, okay? For a size medium, this fits perfectly and that's what we're looking for right we don't want a loose boxy jacket no we want something that's very form-fitting very tight but also very breathable i don't feel like i'm suffocating in this i think it's perfect so if you're any bigger than me i definitely would say a medium or a large and if you're any smaller than me definitely go with a size small okay this look girl we're gonna have to do a 360 360 360 i mean look at it look at it it's extremely form-fitting, hugs every curve that you have. Even if you're not a super, super curvaceous woman, it will give you curves, okay? Cause look at that, look at that. And the material, spandex and polyester, okay? Nothing is see-through. How many times do we have a pair of leggings and we do the little see-through test in the mirror and you see all your stuff hanging out? Absolutely not. With this, the quality is extremely amazing. It's very durable, very thick, very lightweight though. So because it's spandex and polyester, it gives you a really good stretch. It's not see-through. I also wore this to the airport and I thought it was perfect because this set easy to take on easy to take off if you get a little warm of course you can take the jacket off but I always say it's the airport it's gonna be pretty chilly so you might as well keep it on but even so something that I didn't even realize I really needed was these deep pockets in the jacket okay so the leggings might not have any pockets but that's okay but the jacket does and my phone fits snugly in this jacket pocket especially when I was taking out my boarding pass every five seconds super easy show your boarding pass boop put it right back in your pocket okay and this phone ain't coming out this phone ain't coming out let's just say you want to go on a job right okay cue jogging music whoa 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 spin that phone's not coming out who you know does better all i'm saying is you guys should go ahead and get yourself a tracksuit as well if you want to look like me fly and cute and everything under the sun you want to go ahead and run your errands in style you want to go get your starbucks in style go ahead and do it in this tracksuit okay so the one thing i also love about this tracksuit is it comes in an array of colors okay so you've got black obviously we've got dark green we have blue dark blue there's gray pink red any color that you could possibly think of especially as we're transitioning from summer into fall i know the dark green the dark blues the brown all of those colors are going to be a smash hit for the fall because we got to represent and i know y'all want one so if you want to have this tracksuit in your closet for right now and for the upcoming fall season go ahead and click the link in my description below you will not be disappointed i promise you i wouldn't lie to y'all the quality is fantastic not even gonna hold you i wore this to the airport i wore the jacket specifically to yoga everything about this outfit is multi-purpose it's a beautiful tracksuit can't wait to see you guys in it so of course make sure you click that link in my description below it'll take you right Right to their Amazon storefront and you can shop till you drop. Do I gotta show y'all again? Do we gotta hit another 360 on them? Hit another 360 on them. Y'all see how it fits? I ain't even got all that much, but it looks nice. I'm telling you, every color is gonna eat.
every color bony. Okay, that's all I'm saying. So of course, like I said, if you guys want to get your own, make sure you click that link in my description below and uh, it'll take you right there. And you can shop till you drop. Let's go ahead and run these errands in our cute outfit and let's see how many heads we turn. You heard that I was faulty, uh. You heard that I was thinking about you. You heard that I was needing you. That's much better. So I literally have not picked up the camera in so long just because, ugh, just ugh, you know, I always just have to be in the mood. But anyway, I have not gotten my hair done since like March of this year. And we are now at the end of August. It's August 30th, 31st, Jesus. It's August 31st, 11, 16 in the morning. And I'm here at a new hair salon in Raleigh getting my hair done. and. 10 out of 10 recommend. You know when you can connect to a stylist and y'all can talk about any and everything, you can spill all your beans to this person and they spill it back, you found a good stylist. So anyway, um, she detangled my hair already. She gave me a clarifying shampoo, strengthening shampoo, all kinds of other stuff. And now I'm sitting under the dryer and she's gonna, she left me in here for about 30 minutes. She's gonna go, you know, do her thing, eat lunch or whatever the case may be. So she just left me in here, which I'm actually glad because I could just chill in here and do what I want. And I can also record in peace. So she specializes in natural hair care, especially silk presses for natural hair. And she really actually encourages women to continue to get their hair silk pressed because there's no point in crying over heat damage. If you take care of your hair, you don't have to worry about heat damage. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here to kind of give you guys a rundown of what's going on. And um, I'm going to New York in two days, which is why I'm getting my hair done. And I just wanna get some content for you guys because I, I it's been about almost three weeks since I've last posted and that's really bad. So I wanna get on my P's and Q's a little bit now that my mental health is improving. <laughs> We'll get into that. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.
it sounds like you had a lot of fun recording this because it's got the Jersey feel, but you know, not entirely. Baby, dime la verdad. Si te olvidaste de mí, yo sé que fue una noche nada más. Que no se vuelva a repetir. Estoy bo, en ti quise encontrar. Lo que en otra perdí. Tu orgullo no me quiere hablar. Entonces vamos a comprar. Recording myself in public, it's so awkward, but we're doing it. by myself so I can feel comfortable enough to talk obviously I'm whispering though so I don't feel that comfortable but anyway it's back fun today mm -mm. on the radar 2023 six year old DM my broski to a C some madness and badness combination. Yeah. Hey. Grr. On morning side, got no stick in a ride. If I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put emojis over like three faces Cause the feds can't see those eyes People I shouldn't be beside When I was an actor, they would go Stratford just to sell food on Bieber's side Plenty reasons why I'm this way, my girl, that's just one reason why I've seen you around that so throwing up, man, baby, you love all some idiot guys Obedient guys, jokers and comedian guys You know I'm like six foot two and the right shoe love, but you love all some medium guys I wanna keep you on the beach till 6 a.m. so you see sunrise Seeing you from the stage in the 100s, these must be eagle eyes Pressing against me, thinking about entry you know you could tell us a decent size You wanna know the real me, girl, so you wanna see deep inside If Chels has on a Chanel side bag, you don't wanna see him reach inside But we know some demon guys with jealous and evil eyes You know that's how Jesus died, you know that's how Julius Caesar died Hi So, um, it's been a minute, it's been a hot minute actually Speaking of hot minutes, it's kind of hot in here and I don't want my edges to melt before I get anywhere that I gotta go. So today is Monday, September 18th. It's 
11.02 in the morning and um, I have been MIA for quite some time and I put all the footage that I had um, already, you know, like recorded and stuff like that. I put that in the vlog so you guys got to see me go to New York. Months ago, you know, again, my Virgo mother, we booked a trip to New York for Labor Day weekend and, you know, we were planning to have a family barbecue and my aunt, who is like a second mother to me, I actually call her Auntie God Mommy because I feel like God has blessed me you know with having her as my aunt in this lifetime but at the same time I always felt like she was like a godmom that if something was to happen to my mom or my parents my aunt would be the one that like you know would take me in kind of thing and she's a Leo and she has a daughter of her own and we're six years apart so my cousin is an Aquarius and so I'm an Aquarius so I just always felt like you know I was my aunt's extra child and so we found out she was sick and we weren't sure what kind of sick she was we well she was just basically telling us her symptoms you know she was having stomach aches body weakness that kind of thing we didn't really think too much of it and then we encouraged her to go to the hospital and we found out we found out she has cancer and that really rocked our family because the last time someone was ever sick or anything of that nature was back in like well at least i'll tell you this my grandfather he passed away in like 2002 or something i was a baby i was a kid like four years old so i didn't i don't hardly remember him but that was the last time somebody was really sick and something happened to them so this was the first time in over 20 years that you know a sickness is in the family and we were all like shook rock crying everybody hollering screaming even i was screaming and hollering like and i found that out was it the day i found that out the day we got back from new york that's when you know my mom called me and she was like auntie has you know i don't even like to say the word but auntie is sick and i just broke down crying and i took about two days to literally cry like i haven't cried like that in a long time because i feel like i was prematurely grieving because i was like god forbid something was bad was happened to her like that was my body's way of like already grieving and experiencing seeing you know the potential thoughts of like her not being here and that shit rocked me so bad i may or may not insert like a footage or footage of me like <laughs> expressing myself so just to let y'all know on snapchat i instead of using snapchat to like record things i use it to store memories and so like i've been recording my whole life and so there's plenty of times where i was crying can you see like all of that down there crying 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 like you know what I mean? Some fun stuff, but yeah. So I have footage of me like expressing myself and. All right. All right. <sighs> so my mom and I went to New York because we had planned a couple months ago to go up there to have a barbecue for Labor Day. And as of recently, we were getting wind that my aunt was not doing okay. We thought she was having a mental health episode because she stopped eating, drinking, all of that other stuff. And we convinced her to go to the hospital, and she agreed to go today. And my uncle Archie and Nancy Beverly drove her to the hospital, where they diagnosed her with cancer. And she has a failing kidney. in her leg which they're treating but I pray she doesn't have to go on dialysis I pray the cancer was detected extremely early and that I may or may not include that but anyway it's been a little over oh it's been almost two weeks since you know we found out about her diagnosis and she's all right she's doing better she's in better spirit she's you know in the mode of like you know let's get on a road to recovery let's fight this let's get better and so um she left the hospital but then she rechecked herself in because she's like uh, uh i would rather be under the care of somebody else than be in the house you know you never know so anyways that's what was happening with that and before that though the reason why i wasn't filming is two reasons so one i told you guys i was going to be honest with you guys about like my love journey my relationship journey and that's honestly been a freaking roller coaster and i just feel like i just need to take a second sit down and talk to y'all about it i don't know how much i want to divulge because at the same time you know when things are going on in your life a lot of the times we want to be like oh we don't want to post about certain things that are going on in our lives because one 
it, it includes other people. So now you're airing out your business, but other people's business as well. And second of all, you know, you may say like, like, for example, if a guy's doing you dirty, you may be like, oh, fuck him. I don't want him no more. And then a minute later, y'all get back together. So it's like, be careful what you put on the internet. And I was trying to give enough time for, you know, things to change in my own life before I put it on the internet. But there's certain parts I can disclose and other parts I'll probably just keep to myself. But that's on the agenda to talk about. What else? I'm writing a book, but technically I already finished it. So I used that entire month of being MIA to really curate the idea for my book. And I'll talk to you guys more about that in detail but right now it's 11.07 and I'm about to go to Starbs. Now I do my, my morning routine is I get up in the morning and I either start working in the house and then I go grab a coffee and then I go sit in the clubhouse for maybe until like five o'clock. So I literally be giving myself a nine to five. So for y'all be thinking motherfuckers out here lazy, we're not. We're doing nine to fives and then when I get home, I even continue to work on my book so and then I had sponsorships due which is included in this video so I've got to get this video out today and upload it to YouTube today so that's why I need to hurry up and get home I meant go to Starbucks edit this video put this footage in there edit it export it and then upload it to YouTube and post it later so the brand can go ahead and be satisfied because you know when it comes to uh filming for brands the problem is look at it like this way if you were filming a commercial and you hired everybody on set for the commercial and you are their director and you edit you you record edit and then you send it to the brand and the brand like sprite for example sprite's like i didn't want my commercial like this uh-uh redo it you gotta go hire everybody again and go refilm that whole thing so pretty much there were a couple instances where i had to refilm some part and instead of me just being upset i said fuck it this is part of the job i'm gonna have to you know do it so every time i re-edit the videos it takes time to refilm re-edit so it was taking me a while to get the content out as well so there was a lot of delays what else can i complain about so I have things to do again I run now I finally announced on Instagram about my second YouTube channel and that's also why my time and attention has been elsewhere because I do have another channel that one's actually doing a lot better than this one and I have over 1300 subscribers on that channel and a lot of love and I'll get into that too later so let me go ahead and head to Starbucks. It's 1109, but when it comes to Mr. Boo Man, cause that's what I call men that don't wanna commit to you, but they wanna be in your energy and they wanna be in your space, they're a boo man. Cause they ain't your man and they ain't just simply your boo, they your boo man, okay? So anyway, I wonder if Mr. Boo Man is gonna be at Starbucks because every time I go there, I see his little testy in a parking lot and I'm just like, mm hmm. So let's see if Boo Man is there. Ooh, I put the car in neutral, bitch. We wasn't gonna go, now we are. Anyway, it's almost 11.11 and so I just want to say out loud, my 11.11 wish for today is that when I post my book or publish my book, I mean, I, I pray that it becomes a New York, New York Times bestseller, sells over a million copies, I become buku successful from it. Oh, it's 11.11 now. Just for y'all, just for y'all hoes. <laughs> okay. I become buku successful. Nobody can tell me shit. Make a cool milli off of it. I pray that the right love that I am looking for, that I am manifesting, that I believe in, comes to me at the right time when I am prepared and when my divine partner is prepared. I pray that my aunt has a full, full, full recovery. She's in remission for the rest of her life. She never has a bout with cancer ever again or any other type of sickness. She lives as long as she wants to live. I pray the same for my family, my friends, myself, you know, everybody. I wish health on everybody for everyone watching this. I pray you receive a miracle this week. If you've been praying and asking God for something, I pray that it comes true for you. I pray that you stay healthy, you stay wealthy, you stay blessed, and you stay happy. Most importantly, I pray that you're happy. And I pray that I'm happy and everybody else is happy. And it's still 11-11, so what else do I want? <laughs> um, free Starbucks. I'll take free Starbucks. Uh, okay, it's 11-12 now. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> I just said that I wanted something free from Starbucks, so I go in and I order my regular drink. Now, honestly, I just met the barista yesterday. Her name is Kristen, and I looked at her name tag, and it's Kristen spelled C-H-R-I-S-T-E-N. And I was like, oh, that's a definitely a different way to spell. And she was like, well, what's your name? I was like, Crystal with a K. And so then she's like, okay, I'm gonna try to remember your order from now on, because I see you in here all the time. By the way, Boo Man was not in here. But anyways, so when I order my drink, she's like, okay, anything else? And I said, oh yeah, I almost
almost forgot can i also do a sausage egg and cheddar so she's like girl someone just ordered one but they asked for no egg and she didn't re realize that she was like well it's sitting right here i just took it out the oven do you want it i said hell yeah and she's like it's free i'm like hell fucking yeah so free breakfast sandwich eh. i tell you this is why i go here because i'm just like i just know when i'm gonna get some i just know Um, yo, how do you say I finish? Yo, finish? Or finish? Like done? Finish? I finish um, the book. Oh, yeah. ¿Cómo se dice book? Eh, libro. 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 So, libro. ¿cómo se dice? Terminaste de leer un libro. Okay, terminaste de leer un El libro. libro. El libro. El libro. Oh, okay. I gotta write it down. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. What do you say? Terminaste? Leer el libro. I finished reading the book. That's our maintenance guy. He teaches me Spanish. Okay, I'm not going to stay out here too long. Because my edges are going to sweat off. And the edges are important. The edges are important. Make sure you don't food in my teeth. Mm -hmm. Or adios. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> so they've been teaching me how to speak Spanish. And so, for example, if you say have a good weekend, you say tu tengas un buen fin de semana. And then I guess if you ask like how was your weekend, be like que tal tu fin de semana? How was your weekend? Something like that. I don't know. But anyway. This is the last bit of information I guess I'm going to put in the vlog before I just cut it out. But um, I'm back at my clubhouse now. I decided to sit outside real quick so I can just talk my shit in peace. But pretty much, I just feel like, okay, the book kind of details some of the concepts that I wanted to get like into um, with you guys. So if you guys have ever heard of a twin flame journey, it's basically what happens when two souls or one soul in the spirit realm um, splits into two and comes to earth as two different people. And their goal is to find each other in this lifetime, which the universe will naturally make that happen. And they can use, they usually are of different races. They're usually two people from different sides of the world so or they live in two different geographical locations so there's a lot of factors that initially separate them and you have no idea about your twin until you start thinking about it and then um yeah you meet them and then all is well actually i'm lying all is not well um the whole purpose of you meeting your twin flame is to help raise the consciousness of the planet so the whole goal of human beings is to just experience things but love is the highest frequency you could possibly experience and love is what brings everything together love is what makes the world go round. to be quite honest with you and so when you meet your twin flame it's like the ultimate test of love and basically you two are going to be battered and bruised from previous lifetimes experiences in this lifetime and your goal is to transcend that to grow beyond that and then when you both grow past that then you guys will be ready for a union where you guys can literally be in a physical relationship and go beyond so usually the characteristics of like a twin flame is that you meet your twin flame out of the thin blue sky you had no idea it was going to come you didn't expect it it's not like you went on a dating app and found this person or you whatever the case you're probably going to meet them randomly um some way or another and nine times out of ten feminine wakes up and now when i say feminine and masculine i don't necessarily mean male and female it's just a person who has the feminine qualities and the male the masculine who has the masculine qualities so anyway so it could be female female male male whatever anyway hold on sip yeah so the feminine usually wakes up first and then the masculine or and then so once the feminine is like aware that her, this is her man it's like oh my god this is my man like i'm gonna go get my man but the man is like bitch i don't want you like i think you're cute as hell whatever the case may be but i don't know nothing about you yet for me to like really take this chance with you and dive deep with you and so the masculine ends up running 
running and then the feminine wants to chase the masculine because that's what kind of women do is we chase we're like oh my god this is my man let me hold on to him while i have him and he's gonna run but what happens is it forces the feminine to look inward because she's like i'm chasing somebody that doesn't want me and so the feminine has to stop and basically turn that energy inwards and focus on herself and when she focuses on herself the masculine's gonna look around and be like damn she ain't chasing me no more and then the runner chaser dynamic switches and now he's gonna be the one doing the chasing but she's now has the upper hand to whether accept that or not you know what i mean so that's kind of the dynamic i feel like i'm dealing with and it sounds crazy but if you look it up you may relate or you may not if you find it crazy just go ahead and scroll past this and throw me in the loony bin but whatever that's what i feel like is going on because i just feel like this person really has qualities that seem like they're the other half of me in a sense and a lot of things just align feelings emotions whatever the case may be but this person has a lot of internal traumas that they're still working through and my goal as a human being not even as somebody that may like this person whatever my goal is to just be patient and just to allow this person to heal and that doesn't mean i'm sitting around waiting for them to get it together that's not the case at all because in the last month i have poured so much energy into writing my book that i realized there is no room for me to be waiting around for somebody else or chasing somebody else i need to chase my dreams like that's really the tea like i need to chase myself my dreams and that's what's going to make me successful and then that's what's going to attract people that i'm looking for and whether that's him okay and if it's not him okay but i also do believe that the universe has not sent anybody else in my life in the meantime now it's not that i'm not going out it's not that i'm not actively you know open to that i just find it interesting that that there's nobody else like coming towards me and it's like okay but on his end all of the people he might have been dealing with are dropping like flies and i'm like i'm just letting you know me and the universe we like this me and the universe we like this like we are locked in for l okay so i kind of get spiritual downloads about things and then i confront him about stuff and i'm just like hey x y and z like i bring stuff up and then he's like how did you know that and i'm just like the universe me and the universe we we just be talking so anyway i'm still very much single but i'm also not looking so i'm not like actively saying like i need me a man i need a man no that was me maybe a month and a half ago now i'm kind of just like very content with myself and happy with myself i'm not like oh i want somebody to be laid up booed up with no i've actually really dropped that aspect of myself and i think that's part of the healing is feeling like you are super content with yourself and you don't need anybody else that's when you know you've made it that's when you know you've transcended like the whole purpose of the twin flame journey is when you are so focused on yourself that you don't need that other person if that other person never comes back to you it's okay like seriously it is okay because i would really hate for someone to be in a rut in their own life and then come into my life and shake my own shit up. Like in my book, I wrote at the end that like one of the characters, when the guy was like, no, I'm not even, I'm not even, no, never mind. We're not even gonna spoil it. We're not even gonna spoil it. But moral of it is when someone's life is in turmoil and your life may be in turmoil, you don't put turmoil and turmoil together because that just creates chaos, right? So what both of y'all need to do is say, hey, I may like you, you may like me, but I need to work on me, you need to work on you. And then when the both parties feel like they've done enough work with on, you know, within themselves and on themselves, then they could be ready for a relationship. But until then, don't go jumping into a relationship with somebody because you look at them and you say, they're so cute, they're so this, X, Y, and Z. They have all of the qualities I'm looking for. I'm not ready for a relationship, but I want them so bad that I'm going to make myself ready for a relationship date them and then not even that long into the relationship you're wondering why you guys are arguing about stupid shit like or just not on the same page and that's because you guys are not in alignment there was no attempt to be in alignment before you guys decided to date and honestly it's selfish as humans we see somebody like i'm telling you i, I have an, an example there was a, a guy that i thought was super cute he came out of nowhere the thin blue sky on instagram and i thought he was the potential twin flame that i was looking for and he really was not he was the opposite of that god sent me this man he sent me him and he was my pain disguised as my preference and what does that mean i mean he was exactly what i wanted he was 6'3 light skin curly hair tattoos fine as hell just da -da 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 -da. he was a piece of shit though not a piece of shit human being but he just was not in any type of alignment with me and many things that he said were obvious that he was not in any alignment with me but again me just now learning about twin flames i was like oh this has to be the twin flame i was learning about wrong no it wasn't at all he was nowhere near it 
and um, it took me a long time to kind of get over it because I was just I put my eggs in that basket but I had to learn to be content with myself love myself be happy with me before I could be happy with someone else and that's kind of the vibe that I've learned about love and relationships up until now is be content with yourself and if you are not content with yourself the universe will orchestrate a whole divine plan to make you become comfortable with yourself and if that is being put through relationships that do not serve you that is um, being single until you are content with being single it's a whole lot of things that can happen before you kind of are reunited with someone that you're meant to be with but hopefully all that makes sense when I edit this I hope I'm not like jumping all over the place I hope the concepts make sense out loud but anyway I'm just so appreciative of you guys for rocking with me and supporting me on my journey and of course I do genuinely apologize for being absent and MIA. I'm a firm believer that the energy that I radiate on this channel has to be positive. I don't want to get up on here boohooing, crying, sad, pressed, just not in the right state of mind and people can ask like oh well you look like you live a great life and I do. Trust me I do. I'm super grateful. I'm super blessed. However, when certain things are not in alignment in my life, I can be like, damn, like, I can have everything going right for me. But when certain things, like I'll be honest with you, the two things in my life that are not in the alignment I'm ready for, finances and my love life. Those are the two things that I'm still waiting on. And so sometimes I get in a rut about it and then I'm like, ugh, I have no motivation to film. I don't wanna talk about it yet. I don't wanna da 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 But I'm human, you're human, we're all human. And I feel like it's important for me to share certain things so people can be like, damn, Crystal don't live a perfect life. I can relate to the things that she's going through so i'm grateful that she's sharing it so all that being said thank you so much for rocking with me i will be consistent hopefully from now on but if not put it in the comments like bitch where you at but i also do want to say one thing that also slightly bothers me and honestly this is just part of social media people love to message me like text me or dm me and saying hey i love your content on youtube i miss you on youtube and it's like thank you for the support trust me i don't take it for granted i'm appreciative i love it but also like why do people never feel comfortable actually commenting that on my actual youtube platform because all of, a lot of my videos can have zero comments maybe one or two comments and i'm grateful for those one or two comments but it's like why do people feel so comfortable dming me messaging me instead of actually posting it on my social media and so then also it kind of just makes me think well there are people watching but if nobody's fucking with it the content then who am i posting for myself well yes and no so, you know, if you want to help support creators like me, liking, commenting, and subscribing is really important. And I'll just give you a little, honestly, I'll just spill a little bit of tea about social media, especially YouTube. So YouTube's algorithm isn't really similar to like Instagram or TikTok. It's more based on your supporters. So for example, YouTube's gonna put my video on you guys' TL. And if you guys click the video and you start watching, YouTube's gonna be like, oh, her supporters are interested in watching the video. So we're gonna re recommend it to more of her supporters. And then if more of her supporters actually click on the video, then we're gonna send it to people outside of her support group. And we're gonna post it on other people's homepage that may not be subscribed. And then those people that are not subscribed, go ahead and click on your video then YouTube's like, oh shit, people like her, so we're gonna keep recommending her. That's how people go viral, right? It's not really based on like any other type of algorithm. So if you guys see my videos, go ahead and click on it. Make sure you give me a like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on your post notifications so you will be notified every time I post a video. And make sure you leave a comment letting me know how you feel, if you've missed me, you know, all of these other different things. Whatever you wanna talk about, leave it in the comments. And yeah, let's go ahead. We, we, we're going to be doing our thing. But thank you so much for watching this video. Appreciate you guys for rocking with me. And what's really funny is I gained subscribers while not posting for a month. So the people that have just recently subscribed, love y'all already. Y'all make my heart beat. So yeah, I'm going to go inside, edit this content. Oh, yay, my edges are kind of still intact. All right, y'all. Talk to you later. Yeah, I see you. Do you, if you think me, you trying to see what's up. Do you, he wanna fuck with me, then I